Hi guys, it's your girl Lucinda Speaks coming to you once more and again with a different kind of video. So today I'm going to uh, show you how uh, I achieved this look with this wig uh, by Hurella Hair. It is in the color uh, Ginger, I believe. Um, don't quote me on the exact color, but I will leave a link in the description box. It is a lace front wig, and so my goal is to melt it into my uh, skin to make the hairline look natural because of the color, because my edges are uh, black. And so um, sometimes I can cut them to make them kind of look like a closure wig, but this time I wanted it to lay flat. So what I did previously was um, I used uh, Got To Be Glued and some Bold Hold, and I put that down uh, in, before my edges so I you know my hair is braided down really tight so I just went you know on my skin on my forehead but I did use a treatment on my skin first before I did that uh you check your local beauty supplies for things like that or your beautician or esthetician okay be careful what you put on your skin and so with that being said I let it dry uh with the blow dryer and let it dry and then I uh, attached my cap um, that's not the preferred way, but, uh, that's what I did. No, oh, actually I did not glue the cap down. Correction. I just attached the wig and then I tied it down for some time and then I just let it dry. And then I took off the, the band and then I just did my edges. Um, so now you see me, the edges are dry. So now you see me working with the wig to maneuver the texture of the hair. It is a wet and wave texture we can two products the spray and the cream so now it is overnight i slept with that band on uh, it is elastic and so now i'm getting ready to head out to take care of some things and so now i'm going to uh just kind of finger out the hair maybe spray a little more of the product in there i'm not sure i don't really think i needed anything the next morning uh but now i'm going to work on the hairline because when you tie it down you can kind of see that so i'm going in with the fenty beauty uh that is my shade uh as you can see now with makeup i do my color and then i use the contour to uh, maybe a shade darker maybe about three shades darker for my uh highlight i do about three shades lighter and then my color so now i'm going in with the bronzer now this is a key part because first you go in with your powder, then you go in with a bronzer because the bronzer is darker. But remember around your hairline, you want that to be a little bit darker, okay? Because sometimes you may not have makeup in. Now look how seamlessly that is melted into my skin. You can't see the lace at all. Now before I did put the lace on, I did put makeup under it. And so that helped as well. So now I put on some concealer and you saw me with two drops of tinted moisturizer. And now I am doing a circular motion all around my face. And this is just to even out. And I'm also incorporating the concealer. So look at how I'm blending it in. That brush is a, um, I wanna say that brush, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, okay? And that is an originally a blush brush, but the how it blends into the skin is so seamless. I, you know, I wash my brushes all the time, so I just started using it for foundation. And I don't really, since now I work from home, I don't really wear foundation. I just use tinted moisturizer and concealer. And as you can see, now I've been using a product on my skin called Good Molecules. And when I tell you my skin, the pores have tightened, my skin looks so good. But I do have a few marks. And of course, just you want to add a little, you know, a dump da dump to your look as you go out and about. So, of course, I use tinted moisturizer. And uh, now I'm going in with my contour. Now, that's a very thin brush. But as you see, I'm going down that cheek area. Look at how I'm carving out that cheekbone. This is a great trick, ladies, when you want that cheekbone to pop. Our face is originally flat, so I want to add depth to my face. And so this is how, look at how now my lips are beginning to come out. Yes. See, that helps all with just my overall look. And now I'm going around that 
that bone, that all that chin, and to chisel that out just so slightly so that um, it's giving me a better look, a contour look, okay? And so now I'm gonna work on my nose. I'm going to go ahead and get that contour blended in, and now I'm coming in with it just a little bit more to work the color up. You don't start with a lot, you just build it, okay? And this is not taking me long, guys. While I'm talking to you, this is how much time it takes. And so now, there you go. Wind that brush, girl. Wind it, and then, there you go. Chisel it out, and then blend, and then blend. And that's what you do. Now, I'm coming down the peaks of my lips on down in my cheek to give me more of a definitional look because I wanted my face to be three-dimension. That's how you get the maximum uh, from your makeup. You want your face to be three-dimensional, not flat. Yes, girl. Yes. And just keep blending. You notice that I, when I blend, when I say blend, you notice that my brush is always in a circular motion. Good skincare, good brush. The makeup doesn't have to be top notch. I prefer it because I have oily skin. Now notice with my um, contour, I'm going right there on the edge of that nose. And then I'm doing right on the edge of that eye. Because, as people say on social media, bug-eyed Lou, because I do have bright eyes. They're not bug eyes, they're just bright eyes. And I do have big eyes. And I have illuminescent eyes. They're very, very bright. And then by my eyes being brown, that is going to always make my eyes just kind of pop out. And so, uh, you know, that's why I do that. Because I love my eyes. Here I'm putting some dots on my nose. And you'll notice... That as I go back through, this is going to highlight the parts of my face I won't highlight it. I want under my eyes to pop. Okay, and that's why I use the powder there. Okay, this is by Huda. This is a very good brand. This is a top brand. Maximum coverage. And so I use this brand because it is second to none in my opinion. Um, Yeah, so Huda Beauty, if you're out there. Hit me up. My email is in my about on my page. Yes, girl. Put that powder there and let those cheekbones. And you see how that cheek is coming up? Yep. That's how you do it. You just build that thing, girl. Put a little bit on the tip of that nose. Yes, you do. And then right there on my forehead and above my eyebrow. Yes, honey. Bring those eyes right on out and give yourself that three-dimensional look. Good job, Lucinda. Good job. Now, I do use plumper on my lips. I love a full fat lip, girl. I just am. I'm sorry. So, you will always see Lucinda's lips plump because, baby, you just got to be kissable out here, honey. Yes, yes. When he sees you, those lips plump, as soon as you say, hey, baby, he just wants to, mwah. just a little tip from Lou. All right, so of course you see me there. Uh, now I'm getting ready to chisel out that nose. I always start with the eyebrow, that bone. I follow the bone structure of my face. Um, I've taken many classes from makeup artists because makeup is my passion. And uh, I always wanted to be a hairstylist and a makeup artist, but I got into teaching. And so I just followed that path. So um, you see me chiseling out that nose. You see me, yes, baby, getting the, up under there. That is important to me because I want to make sure that the my nose kind of toots up a little bit, okay? And so, um, that's what I want that to be accentuated, okay? All right, you know, I do have an African-American nose, which most of us do. I have it, you know, it's thin, and then, uh, of course, you know how it is. But I thank God for the cartilage that I have, and so I'm able to play on that and to... Um, it, it, it just goes with the overall face with my eyes and everything. So, thank you, Mom, and thank you, Dad. But then, again, I'm coming out. I'm building it in. I'm building. It's the same. And I'm not using anything different other than that um, bronzer. But notice, I'm just putting, there you go, Lucinda. Come right in that eye and bring it in. Notice I start at the end and come inward. The, I mean, the, the outer edge and come inward. And then when I come around, there you go. Do you see how that nose is now? popping yes girl yes 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 now i'm gonna line these big beautiful eyes with just a little something something there you go 
All right, I used to hate to see people do this. It kind of made my flesh crawl, but I gotta do it. All right, and that's just a cheap 99 cent eyeliner, okay? Make those eyes pop. Notice I go up in the corner because, honey, you want those eyes to stretch from Bangkok, from Bangkok to Hawaii, baby. You wanna stretch them out to give it that mignon look. Yes, girl, that is just so alluring and just so beautiful. Now I'm gonna come and line the top of the eye and bring that wing out, bring it out. Wing, I believe I can fly. Go ahead, Lucinda. And draw that eye, girl. Draw it, draw it. Yes, there you go. There you go, Lucinda. Now start, there you go. Start in the middle and take it all the way out. There you go, girl. Now I'm just gonna go ahead with the end of that beauty blender and press press everything in because that makes it look like skin okay people know you got on makeup but again you want it to look so effortlessly and so light and airy there you go girl go around that mouth mm -hmm. hit that forehead there you go there you go uh-huh check it check it there you go I'll come up under there there you go there you go Cause you don't want it to crease okay so you want to go ahead and get it set in there you go make sure you don't have anything in the cracks of that crevice of that eye check that other one real quick there you go boo boo now you got it check again look closely oh you pretty mm. i tell you girl and that face it now set it spray it spray it and ladies i cannot tell you any more than this charlotte tilbury flawless setting um spray is second to none you let it and i i, I over spray and then i let that dry and then i'm going to come on top of that and kind of pat 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 just do a little second little like a little light little brush and that's going to set it in okay that's going to set it in so you know after you get a certain age you know how things kind of drop so the reason why I contour my chin is because I want it to look like a chin. I don't, you know, I want it to be defined. Now, of course, most women, when they get to this age, they go ahead and have that surgery, have everything tightened up. Um, so, you know, I may consider that. I don't know. I don't think it's necessary at this time. But when I hit my 60s, I just may. You never know. All right. So now I'm going to go in with a big brush and just take i don't know if i oh i use my um fenty it's a big loose powder but it's in a bronze color and i just kind of sweep that over everything to kind of you know mesh it all together to get rid of any fine lines and stuff like that all right so now i'm gonna ready to work on these lips um so oh no i'm not i'm gonna work on my eyelashes so uh, and I may have already put something on my lips. Uh, I'm just using some mascara, just any type of mascara. Um, whatever I see that's a good price. I try to get it as, you know, as black as possible, charcoal or whatever. And, um, when I don't wear my lashes and I, I am wearing makeup, I really like to concentrate on those bottom lashes because that is going to make my eyes pop even more. You will see the difference in just a second. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at those lashes. I use a natural oil from my esthetician on my lashes as well at night um, so that they stay full because I do wear falsies. And, you know, sometimes when you remove them, sometimes you can pull out some, you know, of your lash. So you don't want that to happen. Honey, look at that hairline. You That's giving me scalp. That is giving me scalp with the p on the end, baby. Come through, girl. Now, I didn't, I always mess up my eye on this side. I'm going to have to really get better. But, hey, this is real life. And, you know, girl, it's, it's not that important. Um, I don't know if I did my lipstick routine on here, though. Um, but I did mix MAC uh, lipstick with um, Juvia's Place lip, lip gloss. Yeah, lip stain. So, I hope I got that on this video. But, anyway. If not, I have to do another video on it because you got to see what I do. All right. So I'm just working with the girl. Just keep on working with that lash. 
and then the ones on the other side as well uh but that's how I notice that i really concentrate on the ends of my eyes because again i like to play on the natural shape of my eye and i think my eyes are what they call almond shape and there you have a nice pretty finish on my eyebrows i do use morphe but i use a light color i can't remember what it is when my hair is a different color um a lot of times i don't like a overly you know penciled brow so i just do light strokes and just keep brushing to blend it in and now i'm just giving you of course with my ring light um and i don't have any highlight on but the powder gives it a highlight effect and so i'm just letting you see how the skin looks very very pretty very pretty and you could do your flirting you know i call that the miss india eye yes 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 a little bronze just a little bronze bronze oh girl those lips look full and red oh girl girl <laughs> 52 wear okay now those eyebrows are not the best. I mean, those, that liner isn't the best, but those eyelashes look so pretty. So, so pretty. And there you have it, guys. It's so easy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.